more about what's new in medical treatment, alternative medicine, as well as nutrition, wellness, and beauty. Medical professionals, therapists, and counselors are in our studio to offer their expert advice on In Good Shape. Vampires in the house. Then you better call Dr. Carlina Bauer Dubai from the Berlin Center for Travel and Tropical Medicine. Hello and Hello. welcome to the studio. And you didn't come alone? You've got some bed bugs with you. Yes. A petri dish. I have brought some bed bugs. You can mm. see it here in the box. Um, on the left side, the adults, and on the right side, the larvae. Yeah, mm. they, they, they are not that tiny, actually. I think they are quite big. So you can actually spot them when they're on the mattress? Yes, um, I can see them on the mattress uh, because of the uh, feces um, which they left. And um, so, you know, um, there is an infestation on the mattress or on the furniture. Mm -hmm. and, and do have bed bugs something to do with the poor hygiene? No, um, bed bugs have nothing to do with hygiene because the bed bugs um, don't know and uh, cannot distinguish between clean and um, mm. uh, dirty. dirty homes. Yes. Right. And, mm. and how dangerous are bed bugs really? Our uh, viewers from Gambia, Muhammad Kiguru, and from the Oman, Mr. We had wanted to know this: Can they transmit diseases? Bed bugs uh, are able to transmit uh, diseases and pathogens, uh, but um, there is no risk in Middle Europe uh, to get the diseases. Okay, and, and how can you prevent bringing bed bugs? Uh, back home uh, from a journey, say, for instance? You have to check um, the furniture, the bed uh, frame and the mattress seam uh, in the hotel and uh, to, uh, to recognize um, the marks of the feces. And um, I use a, a sticky... Uh, Sorry. St sticky tape. A sticky tape um, to um, to keep free of bed bugs. Mm. So, mm. so you just put the tape around your bed? I put the tape around the bed frame right. um, to keep away the bed bugs. Mm. And, and they don't jump onto the mattress, they just walk? No, uh, bed bugs can't jump, they only run, but uh, they can run uh, very quickly. Mm. So this is one wonderful idea. So the next time I go on a journey, I take some sticky tape with me yes. too. Just make sure that it's sticky on both sides. Mm -hmm. Because you That's wake right. up in the morning mm -hmm. after a good night's sleep and suddenly there's some itching. You start to scratch, but there's more and more and it's not always bed bugs. There might be other unwanted visitors. So let's talk about fleas. And here's one yeah, specimen of this. This is, of course, made of plastic. It's not the real size, but they're quite dangerous. Um, in, in, in ancient times, they were transmitted the plague, and the plague killed 25 million people over here in Germany. Are fleas dangerous nowadays? Um, not at all, um, because uh, the plague uh, is still um, seen in Asia, for example, but not um, here in Middle Europe. Yeah. So, so and don't if, play uh, a significant role. And, and if you wake up in the morning, you see some red spots on your skin and it's itchy, how can mm. you tell that's a flea and not a mosquito bite? I can't tell um, that it is uh, um, a spot of a flea or a spot of a bed bug. I must see um, the, uh, uh, the flea alive or rest of the fleas. So you mm. got to catch the flea, which is yes, quite the to job to do. Flea. But you got something like a flea trap. You brought mm. it with us. Mm. How does it work? This is a flea trap. And um, the flea tra trap works with lights. Um, you can see here two lights, which um, glow up alternately. And here on the ground, um, you can find a sticky surface and the flea uh, jump toward the light and then will be trapped here on the sticky surface. So they just stick there and then you can see, yeah, that's a flea, yes. it's not a mosquito, 
it's a flea. And I can recognize an infestation of fleas. Mm. Mm. And you have to uh, get the terminator then, if you see that there was a fleas? Um, yes, uh, a terminator is very important uh, because the, the exterminator knows um, how to use um, the parathros, uh, mm. uh, the insect decides and uh, where he has to, applique, to apply the insecticides. Okay. Washing the hair is not enough to get rid of the lice? That's right, uh, it isn't enough. Uh, you have to use an insecticides um, to uh, wash the hair and also you must use a comb with uh, very closely uh, fine set teeth mm. uh, to remove the nits. Uh, the nits are the eggs of the lice? The nits are the eggs of the lice. And if you just remove the lice, then they will come again after um, the Yes, eggs, that's uh, right. Yeah, mm. right. Mm. So, and, and if I see some lice, uh, some, some children, my daughter, for instance, when do I have to go to see a doctor and, and how long can I treat it for myself with a comb? Mm. Uh, you, in Germany, you need a doctor's certificate um, to uh, demonstrate uh, that you are lice-free and you have to bring this to a school or to, or to kindergarten. And uh, normally you get this certificate after the first treatment of uh, the lice. And, and is it enough just to remove the lice out of the hair or do you have to clean my whole apartment and to get rid of all, say, um, uh, cushions on the sofa? It isn't necessary to clean the whole apartment because um, when the lies uh, fall down of a person, they uh, will die um, after uh, several hours because uh, lies needs uh, very often uh, a blood meal. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, and if, if somebody's got the lice, I mean, it's, it's a little bit disgusting and it's itchy, but um, are they medically dangerous? Do, can they lead to diseases? Um, not really. Um, we have to separate, um, have I a head lice or have I a, a body lice? And head lice are not a significant vector for diseases and pathogens. And um, it's right uh, when you are in a refugee camp or in accommodation uh, for migrants um, that can be uh, occur, mm -hmm. but uh, not in a normal school. Okay. Thank you, Dr. Baudubay, for being with us in the studio.